Hi guys, I'm the chocolate lover and today we'll be tasting out Love Cacao! Uh, the Love Cacao is by James Cadbury. Uh, you might be wondering, James Cadbury? Hmm, that sounds familiar. James Cadbury is the direct descendant of John Cadbury who started the Cadbury Foundation and they're the ones who created the Cadbury brands that we know today. They they also, um, so James Cadbury has decided to start his own chocolate brand, uh, quite a premium chocolate brand than, than the Cadbury chocolates that you, you're, uh, you, you probably have tasted. So today I'll be tasting the Love Cacao Sparkling Rosé White Chocolate with 80 grams, uh, orga uh, Earl Grey Organic Milk Chocolate. And the Dominican 37% milk chocolate. Mm. Also, the Love Cacao, 10% of the profits goes to the Rainforest Foundation. And they are to combat deforestation and help cacao farmers to come out of poverty. So, the packaging today. Ooh. So we'll be trying out the... First we're going to try the Dominican Republic milk chocolate which is the 37 percent and it weighs 80 grams so this is quite nice actually because it does show you uh cows to, to represent you know uh, milk chocolate but it's really nice and it gives you a little information at the back and it's really well labeled and everything and it's lovely gold uh, at the front with a nice gold uh, logo of love, love cacao um, and made in in great britain with love. <laughs> so let's start opening this up. Ooh. So the packaging of the chocolate is like quite got you on a little single bar. And it all in different shapes and sizes. Uh, but I I have an issue when chocolate is wrapped in plastic. I know it of the long life and everything, but it's like if you're going to pay quite a lot for this chocolate, having it wrapped in plastic, I'm like, mm, is it good for the environment? But this plastic might be a uh, renewable and I'm sure you can recycle it and everything. Um, so let's go on with the smell of it. Ooh. Oh, that's strong. Oh, that is so strong. Like, the cacao mass is, I mean, it's 37%, but still. Wow, that is strong. Woo! <laughs> now, I think the smell of it is a, has a, a nice, strong cacao chocolate smell. Uh, some chocolates don't have that much strong smell because of the intensity of the cacao bean inside the chocolate it has a really good strong one now on for the taste mm. oh wow ooh ooh wow This chocolate is not your normal milk chocolate. It literally just says Dominican Republic milk chocolate. But this is nowhere near. This is not your average chocolate. Oh my God, that is so good. So what's the ingredients of this chocolate, you may ask? It has raw cane sugar, cacao butter, milk, organic, uh, whole milk powder, cacao mass, vanilla extract, and as far as sunflower, Sunflower lichen 0.1%, and that's it. But it's really strange because it ha it seems to have a taste that I can't pinpoint because it's 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 mind blowing. It really is. Mm. Wow.
I don't know what he did to this chocolate, but it's so good. Wow. So, the aftertaste has a nice smooth aftertaste uh, to this chocolate. Uh, I would, I would say it's probably one of the best milk chocolate aftertaste. It's nice. It's it has a nice calm aftertaste to it. Mm. Mm. The texture of it is nice and smooth. It reminds me of lint. It reminds me of lint chocolate, where it, when you eat it, it has a nice smooth taste. It's not um, quite fattening. You don't like, for example, if you eat like the other a, a cheaper brand. I say use vegetable fat. You have that kind of like, like you eat a bit, it's like overly sweet, it's really sickly. This is not, this is very nice and just calm. It's like, it's like you're, you're on, you're on a, a palm beach and you're, and you're looking and the waves are very just calm. It feels a bit like that. The nice palm trees and coconut water and all that stuff. But yeah, I would strongly recommend to get this chocolate. But it's so good. Mm. So, on to the next one. So I'll be trying out sparkling rosé. Ooh, mon jelly. So, to, uh, so this one is a one that I've never ever tried in, in the world. A rosé, sparkling rosé one. Quite nice packaging, beautiful packaging. I mean, very pink. It's very interesting. Very attractive, um, gold and pink does go very well together I think, um, and it has the same information at the back, I would, I will slowly put it up if anyone wants to pause their screen and, and, and read it. Um, yeah, I think it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful, and you know, for any Valentine's, I know Valentine's Day has passed, but for the next one, uh, uh, guys, if you guys want to impress your ladies, get a bar of this nice sparkling rosé. And uh, yeah, let's 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 dive in. Oh, now this is interesting. Ooh, I'll show you guys why. Oh wow, now this is interesting. Remember what I was talking about? The plastic I had an issue with? Well, this. <laughs> this is not from space, guys. This is actually a plastic foil wrapped chocolate. Hmm. What do I make of this, eh? What do I make of this? I... <laughs> I, I, I don't know. From this see-through plastic to space age <laughs> plastic maybe maybe they don't want to see the, the to uh they want to hide the surprise hide the surprise and yeah there's a lot of like space between look at that space between that I'll try to open it up a bit more so you guys can see. So this is what the bar looks like. Okay. And that, oops, broke a bit off, but it's quite a nice white chocolate rose. Uh, these rose are in this chocolate. Um, let's break a bit off. Hmm. Well, the smell of it is, um, doesn't smell, just smells like just white chocolate, really, bog standard. But the taste is an interesting taste. I would say it's like going to these like I know garden centres and you have all these like rose petals and everything and you're smelling that it's just like that kind of 
rosy, old, kind of posh smell, but in your mouth. And yeah, it's it's so bizarre. Hmm. Maybe they're popping candy in this, but I haven't experienced any popping candy at the moment. Oh, now I do. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, experienced my first popping candy in this chocolate. Ooh la la. Ooh. But yeah, so. The texture is nice and smooth, like the milk chocolate, as it's very thin. It's quite good to have it. I think thin chocolates are probably one of the best ones to have because it's it, it, the smooth ones are quite just nice and uh, smooth. Nice and smooth. It's much smoother, I think. But, yeah. You can have popping candy. It, it, just like you eat it, you're like, where's popping candy? And suddenly, psh, popping candy's in your throat. Like, what? <laughs> mm. Very, I think it's a very delicate taste it's got. Very delicate. Ooh. Are you guys all ready for the last one of, of the video? Oh, I know, guys. Sad times we live in. So, this one is the Love Cacao Earl Grey 37% Milk Chocolate. <sighs> and this is the back of it for a little more information. Similar, but different ingredients and everything. So you're very welcome to pause the screen. Now, for the packaging of this chocolate, I'll say it's quite nice because it's got like teacups. So you're walking past a shop or the Love Cacao shop and you're looking at this. You're like, ooh, and, and you know, your eyesight is not the best. And you're like, oh, this, I can see it's a bit chocolate, but oh, I've got, I've got um, bucks in it. Oh, I'll have um, an Earl Grey. It must be must be tea related. It's quite nice to have that because all the others are quite related to what it is. But um, let's let's dive in, eh? Ooh. Now this is very interesting, very interesting, guys, because let me get to the actual inside of the packaging. Now this is brace yourselves. I mean. Spot the difference. Spot the difference. I mean, why is this? I mean, I'm sure this is for the ladies or sort of some exclusivity of it. But this, I mean, what? Wait, what? <laughs> Wait. Are all milk chocolates from the La Cacao brand wrapped in plastic? Just see-through plastic? Hmm, very odd. There's, I'm sure there's a conspiracy behind this. Uh, <laughs> oh, what am I like, eh? <laughs> now, let's go on with the smell. <laughs> wow, wow. Oh my God. Oh, that is strong. That is so strong. That is very strong. I, I can't explain what it is. I'm sure like all, all people are going to go, oh, it's all grey, is it? And you're like, no, it's not. It's... Oh, wow, that's a strong smell. It's got like, uh, it smells a bit fruity in a way. Yeah. Well, wow, yes, oh yes, you can taste it, you can really taste the Earl Grey. Wow. So basically, it's like getting an Earl Grey cup of tea, getting some milk chocolate, dipping your milk chocolate in the Earl Grey and eating it. Because you can taste the Earl Grey tea and it is a very strong taste of Earl Grey 
it's like having it's like getting kicked in the face but by a BL grey so it's like a massive um, and like the others a very smooth aftertaste like the setting sun very smooth and for any Earl Grey lovers out there I'm sure there is one or two in the audience tonight hmm where are you guys this is the chocolate for you you love this absolutely fantastic I mean whew, what can I say I mean I'm not really an Earl Grey lover myself but I'm sure there's, uh, like my dad, my dad always drinking his Earl Grey teas. Oh, that old codger. <laughs> the the, uh, the uh, texture is very smooth, as I've mentioned before. But the big question is, guys, are these value for money? Hmm. Are these very value for money? Okay. So... The price of these were £5.75 and yes, I know guys, £5, £5 for this some small bar that you could probably get, you probably could scoff on it. That's the thing, you probably pay the price, but pay the price, but think about it, 10% go help the rainforest and also it's, it's, it's experience really, um, I mean, would I say it's value for money? Let's say, you know, you're going on a date, you've got the girl or the guy there, you want to, like, impress them. I would say value for money. This would be value for money. But would I would I go out my way and buy this chocolate? Oh, I fancy some chocolate now. What should I get? Ooh, love cacao. Ooh, five pounds. Ooh. I, was, I wouldn't say it's value for money if I was hungry. If I was treating someone or, you know, we're getting, it's an experience, like, you know, you're having some guests over to your house and you want to say, oh, ha have a little bit of chocolate. Then, um, yeah, I think it's very value for money. And overall, I think, so this chocolate, I'll give it a 9 out of 10. The normal milk chocolate, I'll give it, um, normal milk chocolate, sorry guys. Normal milk chocolate, I'll give this about... 7 out of 10, or 8, actually 8 out of 10. I mean, it, it has a nice taste, but you know, it's just the, it's just kind of average, it's not really an average milk chocolate. I mean, it's much more premium, much more, you can have much more tastier milk chocolate. Uh, but this one, whoo, Lord mercy, man. I'll give this quite high, 9, 9.5. 9.5 out of 10. So that concludes to today's video, my videos. And uh, please subscribe, like, and share this video to the world. But one thing, I would like to know uh, what you guys, what chocolate you guys eat. Is it just a normal Cadbury bar, or do you want to try out some of these new chocolates? If so, leave a comment on my YouTube page and uh, give me a shout. Uh, and also, I'll link the website where you can buy these chocolates. So, it's an easier access than actually searching it all up and everything. And, uh, yeah. Uh, thanks for joining in. And I'll see you guys later.